It should have been Metalhead. We all know it should have been Metalhead. So we collaborated with Toy Hacks to make sure that it was. On our side of things, we've got some forearm fillers, new three finger fists, and a replacement head with light pipe dies. As always, these are designed, tooled, and manufactured all in-house at our production facility and can be purchased directly from us on our website. Check with our international distributors if you're outside the US or Canada. We asked our subscribers to vote on which eye type to include and the red light piped option one-handedly, but we've also got light pipe blue, opaque blue, and opaque red. All three of those options are available as add-ons if you prefer them. There's also an option for just the fists and forearm fillers if you prefer to keep the stock head. We tried to make a green version of the hands, but we weren't able to match the green color. If you'd be interested in a green version of the hands set, let us know in the comments and we'll see what we can do if there's enough demand. When installing the forearm fillers, just trim the gates and press them evenly into the empty holes. Make sure the gate is on the side closest to his elbow. Only push them in as far as you prefer. If you push them in all the way, you'll end up with a 4mm gap. The old hands will need a bit of force to get off. You can see how there's a clearance issue along the inner forearm hinge. Use enough leverage though and they'll come right out. The new fists have a cutout to avoid this problem, so just line that up where you need the clearance and slide into place. Clean the eye gate and then trim the head pieces off the runner. The rear of the head has an extra alignment bit where the gate attached, so make sure you don't cut that part off. When trimming the front of the head, you can use a little heat where the gate was attached to eliminate any blemishes. Insert the eyes and neck into the front of the face. The black neck piece has a flat plane on one of the pegs, and it's also shorter. That peg goes towards the rear of the head. If you can see where the gate was, that goes towards the front of the head. The rear just lines up and pegs on. Make sure the two side alignment pieces slide all the way in. old one just pops off to be replaced by the new one. You get more range of motion out of the head now, including up, down, tilt, swivel, and rotation. There's a lot going on with the full Toy Hack sticker set, but let's start over here with the section labeled stickers for non-nef. The head stickers we're installing now will also be available with our version of the kits for anyone that doesn't need the full set from Toy Hacks. We won't have them in stock right away, but they will be up as a pre-order until we get a grasp of the demand. There's a link in the product description for anyone wanting the full Toy Hacks set. And that's it. We'll see you back here in a few weeks for the release of the Swoop Kit.